The federal government will begin requiring unmanned aircraft owners to register their drones with federal aviation administrations on December 21st. Failing to do so could result in owners facing civil or criminal penalties. RT's Brigitte Santos joins me live now from Los Angeles to discuss this. Brigitte, what are the rules involved in this new requirement? So anybody who's aged 13 and older that meets the requirements for U.S. citizenship is going to be required to register any drones that they plan to use outdoors that weigh between a half a pound and 55 pounds. Now this only applies to recreational and hobby users rather than uh, commercial users. So commercial drone uh, registration will probably happen in the spring of 2016, but for now it's only going to be for people who plan to use them on a consumer level. Now if you do meet these requirements, you're basically going to go to the FAA.gov website and you're going to fill out the registration form by providing your contact information, your name, your phone number, your address, and your email address, and you're also going to pay a $5 fee. Now, once you've done that, in exchange, you're going to receive your registration certificate, which, as a user, you will be required to keep on your person at all times while operating uh, your drone, just like you have your registration when you're driving a vehicle. And you'll also receive a unique registration number, which you will be required to display on your drone. So this means you can physically write it out on the drone where it can be seen by anybody that wants to uh, look at your registration, or you can print it out on a label and stick that onto the drone, but you do have to have it visible at all times. Okay, so kind of like a watercraft, it's got to be visible to whoever wants to look up who owns this and possibly report some sort of misuse. So why is the federal government just now requiring this registration? So we're seeing, obviously, a large amount of people who want these things, you know, for Christmas, and they've become a really popular item. And, you know, the government wants to create a culture of accountability. They want to keep the airspace safe, and they want to educate consumers uh, because these toys are not only used for fun. They can also be uh, a public safety hazard. There have been over 240 incidents of near uh, or collisions with airplanes uh, and drones this year alone. And a majority of those have happened within five miles of an airport at altitudes of 400 feet or higher, which is currently prohibited by the FAA. But a lot of people don't know these rules. So I've created a graphic here for you guys to uh, educate you a little bit on what those rules are. So as of now, drones must operate below 400 feet in the air. They must be kept in sight of the operator at all times, and they are prohibited from flying over groups of people, be it at a concert or at a stadium where a sports event is happening. And if you're going to operate them within five miles of an airport, you have got to alert the airport control. Um, because if they don't know what's going on, they can't be prepared and they don't know what they need to be looking out for. And until now, we haven't really had a lot of rules put in place. So requiring people to register them is really just the first step in monitoring drone use. Well, yeah, and also not to mention the privacy issues about flying these drones uh, in neighborhoods and maybe spying on uh, the neighbor in the bikini in the backyard. Now, what are the penalties we're talking about for failing to register these? Absolutely. All of those things that you mentioned are very important issues. So there are penalties put in place. Now, on a civil level, uh, consumers can be fined up to $27,000. Now, that's a huge amount of money for anybody to have to pay. And on a criminal level, people could be facing up to $250,000 in fines or face up to three years in jail. So you're going to want to register your drones, and if you've already got them, then it's not a problem. You have 60 days to register from December 21st, so that brings you up to February 19th, and that's when you'll have to register. But if you receive one after December 21st, you know, for Christmas if you get one, then you're going to have to register it immediately or at least before your first use outdoors. All right, RT correspondent Brigitte Santos in Los Angeles, thank you.